Wilbika, that was absolutely terrible. See, that's what happens when you skip your piano lessons, and I take it you didn't practice at home either. I have better things to do at home, and the only reason I'm coming here again in the first place is because my friends have detention at school, so I can't spend my time with them instead. Well, with all the nonsense you get up to in your free time, I'm surprised you're not there with them right now. I'll be right back, you keep practicing in the meantime. Oh, hi. Were we supposed to meet somewhere? Sorry, I completely forgot. No, I need to ask you something. Tiamo, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same. Don't you usually skip your piano lessons to hang out with your friends around this time? And didn't you say you were going to consult with an older, um, expert about that tree that mum saw? Is Charmaine that expert? No, of course not. This is a private matter. Excuse us. You keep practicing. I can hear the piano in my room, so I'll notice if you're not playing it. And you better just talk, because if you fuck instead, I'll be able to hear that too, and I don't want to spend the rest of my day throwing up. When can I tell my family about you? It's only fair, because you know quite a bit about them as well. And I've been keeping quiet about it, something I'm not sure that brat out there will do for me. I'm currently living off these music lessons, but if it ever becomes known that Windenberg's kind elderly private teacher is a vampire, no one will send their kids to me anymore, especially considering my past. I'm the one who inspired the Hansel and Gretel fairy tale, remember? You don't do that anymore, and besides, the villain in that story is a witch, not a vampire. Still, I can't risk it. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? You ate a fruit from a forbidden tree to become a vampire. Do you think that tree might still be there? I haven't been to Sylvan Glade in ages, so I don't know. But it seems unlikely given the essence of the tree, which can only grow in areas of unspoiled nature. Well, if there's one area of unspoiled nature left on this planet, it has to be Sylvan Glade. Don't ask why, she doesn't even know herself, but my mother needs that fruit. I guess there's no harm in checking it out. Sounds good, Will Bika. Keep playing, we'll be right back. Um, Miss Chief. I know I'm just a criminal in training and lacking the experience you have, but is it really wise to do this in broad daylight? Maybe not, but it will certainly draw Crabcorn's attention. I will keep assaulting their facilities until they take me seriously again, and before you know it, they'll give me back my father's manor just so I stop harassing them. You'll have a new place to live in no time. But why a restaurant? Wouldn't it make more sense to break into one of their warehouses and steal some high-tech toys or something? That's exactly what this is, Grande. The entire family center, including this restaurant, is just a front for Crabcorn's illegal robot factory. See that futuristic looking dumpster over there? That's actually one of their cleaning bots, harmless compared to some of the other electronic abominations they're not showing off in public. But for now, stealing one of these will be a good enough start. This is a hold up, nobody move. Do as I say, then no one has to get hurt. What the fuck? I take it this wasn't part of the plan? I want your service bot. Now. I've heard that voice before. Friend of yours? Are you shitting me? I could never be friends with someone who sounds like a castrated squirrel. I'm just saying that the voice sounds familiar, not that I like it. Thank you for the generous donation. Have a nice day. If that wasn't the politest robber I've ever seen. Oh no, that was her. Miss Chief. Are you sure? Positive. She raided this place just like she raided Crumple Bottom Bank last month. Miss Chief is the most fearsome criminal in the world. Yeah. So we have to call the police and the media to warn everyone about her. True. The public has a right to know that we are all in grave danger. That wasn't so bad, was it? This looks like the place. Really? Because this tree looks nothing like the one in my mother's painting. Then again, she's not the artist in the family, I am. No, this is the entrance to Sylvan Glade. The tree we're looking for is on the other side of this portal, if it's still there at all, that is. Just follow me. 
impressive. Who knew you could still stumble upon a place like this in our modern world? Yeah, but that modern world has already taken its toll on it as well. The Forbidden Tree is no longer here. Shit. What am I supposed to tell my mother now? That you're a liar, for starters. Willy. How did you get here? The same way as you. Through that tree. This place is beautiful, isn't it? Did you know that the toy wand you like to play with was carved from the woods of these trees? It's not a toy wand, it's an actual magic wand, and I'm sure Charmaine already knows that, so why keep up the masquerade? Now I finally know the truth about her too, and that you've been hiding it for the devil knows how long. Wilbika, please, you can't tell anyone. I wasn't going to. Guess I already got my revenge by burning your house down hundreds of years ago, after you tried to sacrifice me and Jaden to Vladstraud. Wait, that was you? How? I knew the voice of that blind bitch sounded familiar. Willy, wait. Oh dear. That escalated quickly. I'm bored. I know, Daisy. We all are. Breaking into school just for some silly ritual was a terrible idea. It was supposed to be fun, but staying behind as punishment isn't fun at all. And of course Wilbika is off the hook because she doesn't attend this school anymore, even though she was the one who initiated it. Life is unfair. Yes, so unfair. I thought I was one of Mr. Sanders' favorite students, and now he's not even here to spend time with us. How sad for you, that you can't use this opportunity to suck up to him. I've already done all my homework. What else am I supposed to do? Ha! Huh, I got it. You're awesome, Mary Sue. Let's see what's on TV. And now the news. There has been a robbery at the restaurant of the San Maishuno Family Center. That's where I would be working right now if I wasn't in detention. For reasons of data protection, the police cannot share any information about the offender, but witnesses spoke of a woman in a red llama costume who made her demands in a calm, almost soothing voice. She eventually walked out of the restaurant with nothing but a service robot, but not before threatening to wreak unimaginable havoc, as described by one elderly citizen. It was so horrible. She held a gun to my face, beat up some of the staff, and even talked about blowing up the entire restaurant. That's Will because mum. I nearly died from sheer panic before she could even do anything. That's how terrifying she was, and we all know who this woman is. Miss Chief. In broad daylight. How awful. Yes, very awful. But that wasn't Miss Chief. Well then, little service bot, you will do the housework from now on because I'm sick of being a housewife. No. No, it can't be. I don't understand why you made such a big secret out of this. Ever since I learned about your on and off relationship with Tiamo, I assumed you were just a sexually frustrated old maid trying to take advantage of his youth and fame, and that's why I was so mean to you. I had no idea that you're the reason he became famous in the first place. Had you not turned him into a vampire and published his first book, he would still be that sad shrinking violet he became after losing his witch powers. So you were mad at me because you thought I was taking advantage of your brother, but not because I tried to sacrifice you and your friend back when I was indeed still a frustrated old maid with no purpose in life? Bitch please, my mother is a crime boss and a wicked witch. What you did was harmless compared to some of the things I've seen her do, and she does them for shits and giggles, you were at least trying to strike a deal for a better life. Guys, I love this museum. Does anyone know when it was built? because it definitely wasn't here the last time I came to Willow Creek. Construction began around the time I stopped working for the publisher across the street, so yes, it's still fairly new. Such a great atmosphere in there, very calm and relaxing, perfect to enjoy a fine piece of art, or produce one. You were saying? Whatever this painting costs, do you really think it's worth more than your life? You can either hand it over to me now and live to see another day, or I'll have to hurt you. What's going on? Not now Wilbika, I'm busy. Wait. Is that... The female robber of the Sam Maishuno family center, who may or may not be the infamous mischief, has struck again, this time in the newly opened Museum of Emotions in Willow Creek, just as Windenberg's famous writer and musician Tiamo Mamnini was visiting. That family is seriously out of luck today. 
In the meantime, I'm going to rework this fake Mona Lisa painting from the Willow Creek Museum of Emotions a little bit, sell it for a lot of money on Magnolia Promenade, and then my new life as a crime boss can finally begin. Fuck fuck fuck. Don't worry, I'm sure Wilbeka and her brother are okay. I just hope Dad catches this stupid robber and throws her in jail. There you are. Detention is over, I'm taking you home. Mary Sue, I can give you a ride if you want. Wasn't Dad supposed to come pick us up before work? And he would be, if he wasn't still looking for his stupid gun. I told him not to take his duty pistol home, but does he ever listen to me? His duty pistol was stolen? That was his first suspicion as well, but nope. I'm sure he just misplaced it, and your mother isn't around to help him find it, so it's lost forever. You know your father, he would lose his own head if it wasn't attached to his body. Aunt Elise, can we talk for a second? In private? So are you finally going to tell me what's been bothering you lately? I know about you, and so does Wilbeka. We found your hidden basement with the cauldron and the other witchy stuff in the time machine. I don't know what you're doing down there, but you must use your powers or whatever to help mom. Calm down. What happened? That robber on TV is in mischief. I know who she really is, because it's all my fault. You did what? We never meant for any of this to happen. Evelyn was supposed to gain a little more self-confidence, not turn into a full-blown crime boss. I followed the instructions carefully, no idea where I went wrong. Oh that I can tell you, you failed to pay attention to what that spell actually does. It's not meant to change someone else's personality into whatever you wish, but to make them more like the person who is casting the spell, useful for parents who want their children to turn out exactly like them. In this case, the cast was you, and since you're evil as fuck, that rubbed off on Evelyn. If she's so much like me now, then why did she steal a service bot and a fucking painting? Not exactly what I would have gone for. Probably because those were the ingredients you used to represent the two halves of the brain. But your emotional state at the time of casting the spell can also affect its outcome. Were you mad at someone or something? Lord of the Underworld, yes. Yes, I was really angry, for quite a few reasons. Great, then we know now why Evelyn is being such a bitch. No offense, bitch. No offense, but your jokes suck ass today. It's Jaden. He must have figured it out by now. Evelyn Bell, the crime boss. Who would have thought? And am I the only one who finds this hilarious? No, you're not. And I'd say we leave her like that. Everyone thinks that she's me anyway, and that bad publicity definitely comes in handy to impress crab corn. But unless she's also as smart as you, she's going to get caught sooner or later, and then the truth will come out. You're right. No, that can't happen under any circumstances. Do we have any idea what she's up to next? We do. Jaden thinks she's on her way to Magnolia Promenade to auction off a fake Mona Lisa painting she stole from the museum. What's on Magnolia Promenade? Studio Donna. What's that? No place I'd like to be. It started out as an art gallery exclusively for female artists who got rejected by the San Maishuno Art Center because of their sex, but quickly degenerated into a group of radical feminists who don't shy away from violence to enforce their twisted ideas of political correctness. If I was an angry woman trying to sell a fake Mona Lisa, that's where I would go. Sounds like a big note for me. Yeah, you should sit this one out, and you too, Tiamo, but there's still something you could do. Will Beaker, please tell me you're at least thoughtful enough to not cast that spell on Evelyn directly, but on a personal item. Her Bible, yes. Perfect, that makes it very easy to reverse. Evelyn's enchanted Bible functions as a battery of sorts that loads her up with a dose of that spell every time she touches it. So all we have to do is break into her home and take it away, so sooner or later it will lose its effect on her. A piece of cake. And why exactly are you here, Charmaine? To show you the way to Studio Donna. But you'll have to dress better than that to be let in. This must be a misunderstanding. I provided a few knitted dresses for the auction. Weren't you the one I talked to about this? Yes, but that was before I saw your ID, according to which your name is Andres Pintado. That's my dead name. 
Sorry, I have not been able to get it changed in all official documents yet. But I go by Esperanza today. In other words, you're a drag queen. No, I am not a drag queen. I am a- However you choose to define yourself, let me tell you what you really are. A man in women's clothes. And Studio Donna is for real women only. So take your knitted drags and get out, before I call security. A feminist group, huh? Of the turf variety by the look of it. Just try to blend in. Hi, my name is Charmaine, and I'd like to join your club as a musician. These are my piano student and her mother, they're here to support me. Normally I'd have you fill out a form, but in the light of current events, would you mind coming to the ladies room with me instead, all three of you? I need to take a quick look underneath your skirts to make sure none of you has a penis. How about I take a quick look inside your open skull to make sure you don't have a fuming pile of shit where your brain is supposed to be? What did you say? I said, how about I- You know, she's a comedian, always trying to make people laugh with her black humor, an art form that I think is criminally underappreciated these days, especially when the artists are women. Don't you agree? How very true. The only role society ever wants to see us in is that of the victim. Alright, you can go in. And Charmaine, why don't you show off your talent as a pianist by providing the background music for the auction? Gladly. That almost went awry, but let's still stick to the plan. Good luck with your big performance Charmaine. I'll go get changed for mine, and Wilbika, find Evelyn and keep her from entering the stage. Evelyn. Wilbika, hello. You know, I would thank you for coming to support me, but after our brief encounter earlier today, I have a feeling that you're only here to talk me out of selling my painting. It's not your painting, you stole it from the museum. You don't have to do this. Well what else am I supposed to do instead? Make pancakes and do the dishes and take out the trash all day? What kind of life is that for a woman in the 21st century? Elise was right all along. I should have followed my dreams instead of giving up everything for a family back when I wasn't even old enough to consider the consequences of such a decision. You can still follow your dreams today, but with honest work. You wanted to be a doctor, right? Foxbury Institute has an excellent study program for medicine. It takes a long time to get a degree in medicine, and I'm already in my mid-30s. Do you think anyone wants to hire a 40-something-year-old doctor with no work experience? By the time I'd find a job, I'd be almost old enough to retire. No, that ship has sailed. I need to find something else, something- Ah, uh, hello? Evelyn? My sister can't hear you. She's frozen in time. I suppose it's not a coincidence that that happened just as you entered the room. Jaden told me that you know everything. And I know that you are also a witch. Did Jaden tell you that too? No need, I've known since you and your mother visited my family on Valentine's Day and started playing magic tricks on us. Since then I've been trying to get you to reveal yourself to me, but to no avail. Why didn't you just reveal yourself first, if you knew all along? We could have done without that game of hide and seek. You know when you share a house with your deeply religious sister and her witch-hating husband, you learn to be careful with a secret like that. Still, I love my sister and want the old Evelyn back. You don't happen to know a counter spell to the one you cast on her? I'm afraid we can only wait until it wears off. But my mother has the auction covered. The first item on the agenda is a replica of the famous Mona Lisa, almost indistinguishable from the original but much more beautiful now that it was painted by a woman. Unfortunately, our vendor seems to have gotten cold feet because I've seen neither her nor the painting lately. Not cold feet, I've merely changed my mind. But you are. Miss Chief. How did you get in here, and what did you do to the vendor? I am the vendor, and it's my fake Mona Lisa, because I'm the one who stole it. 
The person you met earlier today was just some innocent soul I blackmailed into working for me. But as I said, I've changed my mind about selling the painting. With all those bots I could be stealing from Crab Corn at this very moment, I have no time to waste on an event like this. Bye bye. And with these words, she left the building, being nowhere to be found afterwards, as usual for the infamous mischief. It is now confirmed that she was indeed the person who robbed both the Sam Myshuno Family Center and the Willow Creek Museum of Emotions, after almost two months of inactivity. Well done, me. It's also in the newspapers, and Charmaine told me one of her piano students is afraid that you're going to break into his parents' casino next. Good to know you're back in business, Mum. And thank you for taking the blame for Evelyn's actions. Elise and Jaden are keeping an eye on her for now, and they say she feels terrible about what happened, so the spell seems to be wearing off already. As expected. What's the name of that casino, Tiamo? I have even more good news. While I was out shopping for new shades to go with my new outfits from the Magic Realm, I ran into that girl working for Crabcorn that we talked to the other day. Like literally ran into her, nearly crushing her, and she said her boss had changed his mind about Crumplebottom Manor. He likes his robots better than that old house, so he'll let you have it without any trouble if you refrain from stealing from him again in the future. That's great news indeed. Means you'll be getting your own place grande. Yay. Oops. Not, Not again. again. Sorry. Just don't jump the next time you feel happy because of something, alright? Mum, why don't we move into grandfather's old house? It's bigger than this one. But also full of unhappy memories that I don't need, so no thanks. Is that my chew bone that just fell out of Grande's pants? A happy ending after all.